Dobra den everyone. This is Hal and welcome to Travel Know How. I'm here in Bratislava in Sablakia and I am overlooking the Danube River right now and I am currently on the grounds of the Bratislava Palace and this is the park and if you get access here you can come down and or up I should say and have a great view overlooking the city itself over there go have a walk or you can uh, go a bit further up there and see the palace grounds and the view from up there as well as you see it's looking quite impressive yeah definitely come along and this is where the postcard view is of the UFO bridge I am in the old town square so this is where it all happened and I'm surrounded by a lovely amazing buildings like quite a lot of old town squares in Europe the city hall is here but now it's a museum of all things of Latvia, Slavia. so following on from the central square in the old market you see that uh, it's starting to be the evening now and there happens to be a very large outdoor food culture right now. So here in Bratislava seems to be a lot of various restaurants that are open and people just like to sit and enjoy the evening cool air and just dine outdoors. So while we're doing a few squares around Bratislava in the city centre itself, this is another square. That's St. Martin's Cathedral and this leads on to Ruddy Square here. It's just called Ruddy Square. It's, uh, it's a very nice little tranquil little spot. People just sit around and other people come do a bit of photography. This is it. Nice cafes around, a bit of a green space, an oasis away from everyone else. Well, I'm outside the presidential palace right now in Bratislava, and uh, the fountain's going. It's quite a notable tourist location to come and see. Let's see, there we go. It's extremely hot at the front here and there is an orange water spraying vehicle that's going around spraying the ground literally all around here just trying to keep the place cool I assume and it's going pretty crazy. <laughs> Looks a bit barren around here right now and it's pretty hot but I see on the map that there's a pretty big backyard so we'll go around the back and see how big that garden is. Well, the entranceway was a little bit of a walk behind the palace, but it doesn't seem too bad with all the green space back here. They've actually turned into a little bit of a public park with uh, a few games for the kids to play on and something to be interested in. they got a couple of fountains and nice gardens, a few flowers. Yeah. I'll go and have a bit of a further look. Okay. Some flowers there. Bit of a hedge. Garden. How's that? Bit of a fountain. There appears to be a lot of construction work behind the palace there. So everything's all covered up in scaffolding and uh, yeah this is the green space 
we have it folks, the largest fountain in all of Savlakia. Built back in during the Soviet era in 1979 to 1980. It was one of the most impressive water feature here. But now it's uh, dried up as you can see and no longer working. They reckon it'll cost them at least a million euros to fix up all the pipe work and get it flowing again. Now this isn't too far off from the parliament and the park itself. It's just diagonally up across and I'm sure you'll find it's not too far away from the city centre. That's it. Built in the shape of a beautiful flower.